Welcome to the Silence Coast How To for the Scythe TI. Out of the box, the Scythe comes with a 5H24 direct thread mount, a single port anchor brake, a radial tool, a basic tool, and a Bravo tool. The body of the Scythe is fully constructed of titanium as well as the thread mount, and the anchor brake is 7075 anodized aluminum. And we came up with our own uh, proprietary anodize that doesn't chip or flake. The Scythe tie doesn't have any barrel restrictions within reason. Uh, if you put this on a eight inch 300 Remington Ultra Mag, probably not gonna have a good day. The Scythe is compatible with all of our Bravo accessories. To remove the Bravo thread mount, use the included Bravo tool and you can take thread mount out. You can install your ASR mount and tighten it down with the spanner wrench, it's included. And then from there, if your muzzle device, any ASR muzzle device is on your firearm, you can then mount your scythe to that and lock it down. To remove it, it'll be the same process, just in reverse. Take your spanner wrench and remove it. Scythe is also compatible with the thread over muzzle device. Bravo mount, which goes in the exact same way. Tighten that down with your spanner wrench. And then if this muzzle device was on your firearm, you would install the scythe and tighten it down really good. The scythe is compatible with all of our Bravo front caps. To remove your front cap, simply unscrew it from the front and to replace it with a flat front cap, you can thread it in and use the Bravo multi-tool to tighten it down. Same thing, loosen it up and unscrew it. In the off chance that your anchor brake gets stuck, you can use the back end of the basic tool to loosen it up. If you can't remove your scythe from your firearm with your hands, you can use our included radial tool. It has a pattern on the front that matches up with the pattern on the inside of the scythe. So you would just take this and put it in and you can use our included Bravo tool to help you out or you can use a 3-8 socket driver. The side tie comes with a factory oil rub finish. We use quick seal gun oil and that's how it comes to you in the box. After using your scythe, you may notice that the oil evaporates off and it looks a little bit discolored. That's totally okay. It's strictly cosmetic. If you want to get the factory finish back, we recommend using that quick seal gun oil in a microfiber cloth and just, you know, lightly rubbing it back on there. Another couple of tips for maintaining your scythe. You do not want to put this in a tumbler. Uh, you do not want to put this in a ultrasonic cleaner. You don't want to use any sort of solvents that contain chlorine or acetone as all of these can damage the finish of your scythe. That's everything you need to know about the scythe tie. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below or reach out to our customer service. Uh, we're going to go throw this on a couple of guns and see how it sounds. Thank you.